Some of us don't know how to behave at all. Some of us don't know how to talk at all. Some of us look down on people in such terrible manner. I don't know if it is based on how we were raised. I don't know if it is based on how society is. But we have to do better. We have to do better. Can I tell you that you are three persons away from anybody you want to meet in this life? Just three persons away. You may not know this person directly, but there is somebody that knows somebody that knows the person you want to meet. There is somebody that knows somebody that knows the person that is supposed to sign that contract for you. There is somebody that knows somebody that is supposed to give a release for the money that you need. It is important that we learn to treat people well. We learn to relate to people well. Some of us are so condescending. The way you look down on others as if you don't poo in the toilet. The way you look down on others as if it's not the same blood that runs in all our veins. There is, see, we have to come to the point where we are no longer high-minded. We look at each other as if that the other person, because you feel privileged, because you have a few things, you begin to look at some other person as, as if they are stupid, as if they are dull. Maybe because you have more money, you assume that everybody who does not have money is stupid and, and, and dumb. That is a terrible way to live. That's a terrible way to live. Come to the point where you relate to people well, even when you don't know what their status is. Talk to people well, even if you don't know their qualification. When I come into a place, I usually never, I usually never tell anybody who I am. I come into the place stiltly. And then if you treat me well and eventually find out who I am, better for you. It is wrong for you to treat people based on who you think they are. And treat other people based on who you think that they are not. It is not the right thing to do. Somebody shout hallelujah. So when you come to church like this, when they say turn to somebody, turn your face and talk to the person. Eh? Your mouth does not smell air freshener and the other person's mouth smells gota gota. You are not too sophisticated. It's still the same human being. In fact, if we display how you poo, eh? Even everybody that thinks that you're too high will run away from you. We are all human beings at the end of the day. We are all human beings at the end of the day. Treat people well. Talk to people well. Relate to people well. Somebody is trying to talk to you gently. You are shouting on the person. I say the person is not a human being. Is it because God helped you? Is it because God lifted you? Is it because God gave you some change? Is it because God gave you some strategies that helped you to become better? See, you are not even better than the person. No. Every great man, Papa will say, is a man greatly helped by God. The fact that you are up there is because God has lifted you. And don't forget that the same God who lifts can bring down. So when you relate to people, relate with them with understanding. It was because the name, name man who was a captain, he, a general he, in the army, he was relating with this slave girl in his house so well that at the end of the day, when there was solution, this slave girl was the one that said, if only this is my ogre, can go and meet my prophet. If only he can meet my prophet, he will be delivered from his leprosy. And now, because the ogre, as high as he was, could even relate with the slave girl, he was able to hear about the solution. Do you know there are solutions that people are holding around you? But because you are too high-minded, because you've not carried yourself down a little, you've not had a solution that can help you. You've not had a solution that can save you. There are many things you are looking for everywhere that somebody right be beside you knows the way. But because you think that everything is permutation and calculation, because you think that everything, you have to do that analysis for it, you have to calculate it and check, and check the report. Before, there is somebody that will give you one simple advice, one simple suggestion that can change your next level. In this coming year, tell yourself that you treat people well. You will talk to people well. You will relate to people well. You will not look down on anybody. You will not judge people by the configuration of their dressing. You will not judge people by the way they package themselves. I've seen people who are so poor, who borrow to package themselves. And I've seen people who are so rich that they have neglected to package themselves. So don't judge anybody by dressing. Don't judge anybody by what you see. This is very, very, very important. Talk to your neighbor and say, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. If you know who I am, eh? You will treat me better. <laughs> Somebody shout hallelujah. Let me tell you, every blessing comes from God, but passes through people to a person. 
Let me say it one more time. Every blessing comes from God, but it passes through people to a person. If God wants to remember you today, if God wants to bless you today, he will not sit back in heaven. I want to release a blessing, but because principle will not let me throw down this blessing from heaven, I need to locate somebody on earth who already has what I want to give to this my child. And God begins to touch the heart of a man, touch the heart of a woman. Go to a, this my child, connect with them and give them these things. This is how true blessings come. Many of us, we say, no, I will not talk to anybody. I don't care about people. People are so wicked. People are scam. People are scum. I will just look up to my God in this year. No people. Uh, see, listen to me. If God wants to bless you, he will still bless you through people. If he wants to remember you, he will remember you through people. So don't neglect people. People are gates. People are gatekeepers. And when, there are gates that you will never pass through until somebody opens the gate for you. Pray that people who are gatekeepers come into your life. But more so, pray that you know how to treat those gatekeepers. Don't connect to people because of what you will collect from them. Connect to bless. Don't connect to collect. Connect to bless. Don't connect to collect. Many of you are connected with people only with the sole aim. What can I collect from this person? When you collect to bless them, you'll be surprised at what you can eventually collect from them. But you have to connect to bless. Don't connect to collect. Many of us are just like pan one tapas. We're looking for where to tap. I tap into this blessing. I tap, I tap into this marriage. I tap into... Don't tap. There is even a king needs something. Should I say it again? A, even a king. There is something that a king needs. Meet the need of the king. And the king will meet your own need. Every king around you needs something. The people that you think that they have everything. There is something that you have that they endlessly desire. There is something that they cannot do for themselves. Even God in heaven, there are things he will not do for himself. He cannot praise himself. He cannot worship himself. And he created us so that we can worship him. So there is something that every king, every ruler, every queen, every royalty needs around you. And if you want to get royal blessings, you must meet royal needs.